up, Kilo, man? Sick. Real black and brown, boy. Yeah, man. Bobbing, man. I'm looking straight through this life like a telescope. We all family, black and brown, Valley Joe. What's going on, YouTube? Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It's free, man. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. It ain't going to cost you nothing. Let's go. What's good, YouTube? Today, we got a good discussion to talk about. It's a, it's in regards to the Northerners, the Northanios, and the Africano community here in Northern California. The relationship, the ties, a little bit of the history, and how it was from my point of view growing up. How, how, because, you know, you always hear, oh, black and brown is tied up north. Black and brown unity is real up north. And, and, and for the most part, yes, that's true. Yes, that's very true. Yes, it's real on a, on the grand scale of things. And yes, you do have different hoods who go at it with each other. You know, black and brown funk in different areas, different cities. But most of the time, that's hood shit. And I learned, too, that that's what goes on in L.A., too. A lot of the times, it's not racial down there. A lot of the times, the beef between black and brown in Southern California is just hood shit. You know what I'm saying? So same thing up here, but on a grander scale of things. It's mostly black and brown love. You know what I'm saying? That unity is real and it's there. First, you're going to have OGs on both sides who may not like each other. You're going to have black OGs that don't, for whatever reason, don't like Mexicans. You're going to have Mexican OGs that, for, every, for whatever reason, don't like blacks. That's their reasons. We're not here to talk about that right now. We're here to talk about the unity and how it, how it got here. For me, I said this before, if you guys watch my channel, my whole family's been to the pen, uncles, grandpa. My dad, everyone, right? All my cousins. So these old veteranos laced us up. These old G's that been to the pen in the 70s, 80s, 90s. My grandpa been to the pen in the 60s. You know what I'm saying? But it was my dad and my uncles and my older cousins, mostly my dad and my uncles, that's been to the pen in the 70s and the 80s that were on the yard with BGF. They were on the yard with the Black Gorilla family on the main lines uh, in the 70s. And I remember being a little kid and them telling me that the blacks were our allies. A little kid, a child, bro, elementary school. That the blacks were our friends. And we're supposed to have their backs and they have our backs. And as a child, this is this is implemented into me. This is this is planted in my head. The the blacks and us are one. The reason being because these dudes been on yards and fought side by side with the Africanos. They've been there with the Black Gorilla family fighting their oppositions. You know what I'm saying? They shed blood with one another. They had each other's backs. They looked out for each other. They've been through the struggle shoulder to shoulder with one another, black and brown, in prison and on the streets. My older family members who happen to be the OGs of the neighborhood passing this same this same teaching and this same love down to me. So when I'm coming up, you know, my allies is the blacks. My ally, the blacks is our homies. There was never no hatred. There was never that, that, that dividing lines. Why? Because of my teachings that I got from these OGs. These OGs didn't spread no hate for the blacks. These OGs didn't spread no uh, derogatory uh, message about black people. Now, of course, you like I said, you're going to get some OGs who just don't like black people on both in both sides, black people that don't like Mexicans. But for the most part, bro, this is this for me, actually for me, this is how I was taught. You know what I'm saying? My dad being in the pen in the 70s with my uncles and all the shit, right? In the 80s, throughout half of the 90s, they had mad love for the Africano core, especially the black gorilla family. They have super the utmost respect. For the black gorilla family, bro. That's a fucking fact. And every OG that their other friends that they have, veteranos that been in the pen in the 70s and all that, right? They all have the equal same amount as the utmost respect for the black gorilla family. They say they talk highly of these dudes. They they tell stories, they they speak about these guys in the highest of in regards, the highest, like they they have they have these guys on a pedestal. And vice versa. You know, I met some of these dudes. You know what I'm saying? They they would play fucking, um, what was that shit? Pinochle. They would be in the garage playing Pinochle OGs. Sitting back listening to oldies. You know what I'm saying? And I'm right there. They're like, hey, go grab me a beer. Woo -woo. You know what I'm saying? I'm a kid. Go grabbing them some beers. You know what I'm saying? There's this one dude. I remember he had BGF, Black Gorilla Family, spelled out on his back. Blasted. 
And it and were these dudes right for showing me this type of shit, teaching me this shit? Because I remember them be like, hey, show them your tattoo, show them your tattoo. And I'm a kid, probably nine, eight, eight years old, nine years old. And he's taking off his shirt. He's showing me his tat. Black gorilla family on his back with the dragon and prison tower and all the shit. Shred to God. No lie. And, you know, as a kid, this type of shit, you know, it's, it's fascinating. Me growing up was always like, man, the, 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 the black gorilla family, the blacks in general, are our folks. Those are our people, homie. You know what I'm saying? Because this is what I was taught. These is our people, homie. Yes, they're not Mexican, but they're, they're, they're with us. And we're with them. And that's that. And that's just the way it was. And just like I didn't second guess why we went at it with the Southsiders, why we, why there was that divided line, it was just second nature. It was just normal that the Sereños were enemies and the blacks were our friends. You know what I'm saying? I didn't make the rules, homie. I just abide by them. You feel me? This is just to shed a little light and insight on those that may not be from Northern California or even if you are from Northern California and you didn't have the same experience as me. This could be a reason why some of the factors that play into the unity of black and brown because of the OGs taught it this way. Same thing with the black dudes. I, I got black homies where we talk and they say they grew up the same way. They got uncles, OG uncles from the Bay Area that are um, black gorilla family, OGs, BGF OGs. When they came out the pen, they passed that same love for the North Daniels down to their young life, down to their, their, their young homies and their, and their little ones. You know what I'm saying? That the North Daniels are their allies. You know what I'm saying? And so, like I said, it's vice versa, bro. It's just the way we grew up. You guys have any experience like this growing up? Or did you guys have the opposite growing up? Let me know in the comments, man. I want to read what you guys have to say. I read all the comments. I reply to most of them. Let's get this conversation going. Again, I know... A lot of people, not everyone, grew up the same way I did. Households are different. Older homies are different. Everywhere you go, it all depends on you. Let me know in the comment section. Let's talk about this. It's the kid. Let's go. What's up, Kilo, man? Real black and brown, boy. Yeah, man. Mommy, man. You still been here, man. Before black and brown was black, and before you motherfuckers put a name on it, it was it. Check it out. My real nigga right here, boy. Yeah, yeah man. Man, we at the Midway. Man, Frisco, Vallejo, man. Liz, man. What's up, baby? What's up, man? What's up, big baby? What's happening with you, man? Yeah, hey, you already know what it is. Doing it, moving like always. Toes, my nigga. I appreciate you too, Toes. Man, thank you, my nigga. Thank you. Always step up for it, man. Sure. How you being, nigga? Hey, hey, man. Man. You, hey, you one of our goats, my nigga. Hey, look. Hey, man, when it come to black and brown, the niggas putting it down, man, from Hunters Point and niggas doing it right and putting a pipeline in the hood. Yeah, man, wave up. Fuck that wall, man. We been dropping tunnels, man, and beat me business funnels, you understand me? Cocaine and real game music, you understand me? Black and brown putting it down. I just play big black alimony, you feel me? And big on me shown, you feel me? This big dot though, you understand me? <laughs> Tito put they in the hood, you feel me? He being dancing, man. Turn the tricks, you feel me? Right. 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 